Hello everyone, my name is Toby and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we are back into Democracy 4. Again, as I've said in my previous two videos, it's been a while, I know. The last that was uploaded on the 29th, this um, first episode of Making a Communist America. As a good point, I'd just like to say, not everything in here is straight communist. For example, a state postal service isn't communist, natural healthcare is not communist. It's just the steps you need to take to get towards the communist ideology in this game. Um, and I'd just like to point out now, this doesn't reflect any of my views at all. Like, I'm not influencing it in any way. It's just trying to make America as authoritarian, as conservative and as left as possible. And that's what you need to do in the game to do so. So, yeah, let's get into this. So, we, have, we don't have an illegal immigration crisis anymore, which is perfect. We have an ethnic plot, which isn't good. We have a 50 billion surplus, which is good, although only 30% of the vote would, uh, electorate, sorry, would vote for us. That's not very good. Uh, and cabinet's good. Crime is at an all-time low. It's completely at zero, in fact. Um, and yeah, so who like us? I need to get back into the swing. So conservatives like us a lot, but their membership isn't very high. And that's because of the Racial Discrimination Act and all of that. So, let's end this turn, get into the next, and uh, see what happens. So, <laughs> there you go, I've been assassinated. <laughs> oh my lord, right, we'll try it again from the same point. Um, hopefully I won't get assassinated. Um, apparently they don't like... They do not like communists in america there you go right we survived um just let the record know i did die i did get assassinated um but yeah failed assassination attempts <sighs> that was completely hilarious that first go in um but yeah let's let's get into this um tonight's new server all right yeah so the environment's good patriots don't like it but that's not too bad health is rising i we're in a minor deficit now, which isn't good. Just one. I'm embarrassed to talk about colleagues in other countries and science is taken seriously. I really wish I could fund science, but I really just can't at the moment. Because of our deficit. Why has our deficit occurred? State schools, state pensions, military spending. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. My income tax is already at 45. Ideally, I don't want to have to raise it, to be honest. Ideally. But first things first, we need to up the membership of, con uh, of conservatives. So let's just lower the Racial Discrimination Act down to there. Just so it's not affecting the conservative thing. Obviously, I don't mind still having it. I just need the conservatives to be happy. At the moment, um, and then six left. I mean, we need money. That is our problem. I could do an automation tax. However, it's it's not too much money, and it really hurts my economy. Um, let's see. Where is socialist? Socialists love me. Thirty-two percent of the population. Okay. Um, it's because of the state healthcare is just costing me a bloody fortune. Let's see if there's anything we can implement. Basic trade-off. Diverted profits tax. Maybe. Yeah, we'll put in a small, a small diverted profits tax. Why not? Definitely going to help with the corporate exodus, though, which cannot be good. There's a green plot now. School sponsorship. A large number of corporations have expressed interest in investing in our school system. Everything from free school books to entire sports is offered in return for some branding and promotion opportunities. Allow. It would be crazy to turn down an offer, to f for fr uh, an offer of free education materials. The government cannot provide the state-of-the-art facilities that these companies are prepared to build in our schools. Having company logos on school books is a trivial price to pay or parent prevent sponsorship. Our schools are a place for kids to be educated, not to be brainwashed in buying this this or that brand of cola. 
Advertising is everywhere in society, and schools are one of the last places we can escape it. Keep businesses, yes. Keep them out of education. That will help. Okay. Uh, polls are very low. And the election is creeping up. Are definitely better? Is there anything we can cut? Debt interest is hurting. We need to up our... We need to up our... Um, whatchamacallit? Our credit rating. We need to up our credit rating. Alright, obesity is going down very, very quickly. Then health will be increased, healthcare demand will be decreased, meaning the cost of, of state health will be decreased, which will all be good. Adult education subsidies. I kind of want to do that, but at the end of the day, I don't really have the money for all of this. Like, I really want to. Oh, this is the big one, because it directly impacts the environment, directly lowers respiratory. Um, and at the moment, we really need that gone. Um, okay, let's and uh, let's have a look at Intel Ledger. Where is Intel? Nope. Uh, this one. No. This one. No. This one. No. No. This one. No. Let's just go this way. Intel screen. We have adequate defense. Let's up our Intel agency to max. Um, we do need to start lowering the press freedom. Which I know is very bad to say out loud, but, you know, what can you do? Let's end our turn and uh, see if we can not die. Perfect. There's another ethnic plot, thanks for the advice. Hospital overcrowding is gone. That is very good. Pri private space industry. Okay. Criminalize it. Because that makes everybody like me. GDP. It's worth it because of everything else. We have a small surplus of 11 billion now. Um, we really need interest to go down. And we need our credit rating to go up so that that can happen. My GDP is literally dipping with the global economy right now. Which isn't great. Uh, vote wise, what are we saying? It's spiked back up a little bit. We just need these cheap public services. See if we can get them out. And um, get them out and get better. All right, we need to really stop appeasing the religious and patriots. That was a good point from the last episode as well. Is that the religious, as everything they are, they need to be, um, they need to be sidelined. They can't be a major voting block. Otherwise, I'm never going to win as a socialist. Um. How can I? How can I lower religious membership? I really want to do this. I genuinely really want to do this. But I just, I just can't afford it. I'll do that. Okay, I really just can't afford to do that. Um, I'll do free eye tests because a lot of people like it. Free parenting classes. Why not? A nice cheap one ups gender equality. Ups my parents. Uh, not my, not ups my parents. Ups my like relate like uh, uh, parents' opinion of me. Education is going up. Health is rising. Poverty is low. Unemployment is going up, unfortunately, because of immigration. Immigration is very high. We need the immigration to be gone. Um, let's do that. We need the immigration out. We might have a food crisis because the food price has skyrocketed because of water shortage, which is about to go. Water shortage is about to go. I forgot that was an issue. Again, it's been a long time. Uh, 40% of the vote now is not bad, but not good enough. What other problems do we have? Actually, I might do a bit of... I saw it here. Helicopter money. Because it ups our GDP. And obviously not majorly, because obviously I don't want inflation. But 
poor like it, the GDP goes up, poverty goes down, and the socialists like it. So yeah, let's do some helicopter money. Let's print some money, put it into the economy, give it to the poor, and uh, see if it works. It's, GDP is already rising, thanks to helicopter money. One turn, it will be up a bit more. Obesity is gone, water shortage is gone, health is rising, GDP is rising, unemployment is now going down. There is a food crisis, which is going to go immediately, because water crisis is also gone. Credit rating is downgraded, which is unfortunate, which means we're going to have to pay more. Uh, we have actually had a, a period of growth of $2 trillion in our GDP, which is actually very, very good, considering the global economy is dipping by a lot. Our interest rate has gone up to 1.8%, which is not good at all. Um, I need to up the income tax. Sorry, people of America, I just need money to fund stuff. Okay, poverty is gone. It's completely eradicated. GDP is dipping because of the global economy is also dipping. So that is causing a dip in our own one. We are now in a positive. We're in a surplus, I believe. Yeah, 102 billion surplus. Um, okay, let's look at this. Upgrade to our upgrades to our telecoms infrastructure would involve buying hardware from a prominent foreign country with strong links to into a, to a foreign government with dubious motives. Security professionals have expressed serious concern that this will undermine our security and are calling for the company to be blacklisted. But we can either ban it. If society increasingly dependent on internet te and telecoms, it really isn't sensible to allow dubious ban it. Patriots are like that. GDP goes down. I didn't realize that would happen actually. But yeah, how are we looking poll wise? Oh, that is not good. That is not good. The income tax raising is not what the people wanted. The solution could be just to lower it. I could appease. I could appease the religious temporarily. Um. Voting types. Who like me? Socialists love me. Patriots, conservatives do. Parents love me. Wealthy love me. Who don't? Uh, retired. Where are they? Trade unionists hate me. But they're only 8% of the population. Wealthy, they're only 5. Hmm. Public services. This is usually the best bit to get people to like you. <laughs> um... free bus passes that helps our bus usage the retired like it yeah okay where are the retired on here the retired love me 100 percent, pretty much um i really need something environmentalist to like me that could be helpful they don't really like me at the moment and they are a lot they are a lot of the population we need to get them on side uh business startup campaign city farms public services cyberbullying awareness this helps the parents and the youth like me anything i can do for one no it's not the election next turn so i will be doing a speech i've been killed again fantastic let's load this up and try not to die. Um, I don't know if you guys... I, I assume you want me to continue if I get assassinated. That's what I assume. Um, if you'd rather I just call it a day. Then let me know in the comments. I just assume you'd rather see me carry on. Rather than suddenly get assassinated. And then that be over. That is good. Very good actually. Because that means our interest rate is dropping again, which means we have an even bigger surplus in theory. 69 billion, okay, because we're spending it on a lot of stuff. Security briefing is adequate. We could do with some more. I just don't want to spend a lot of eyes on stuff that's going to make people unhappy right now. So I am going to do a. I'm going to do. I'm going to promise to cut on police um, raise equality 
And speech wise, let's do this, this. Don't really want to talk bad about the, the about them. Alright, let's just do this. And see see what goes down. This is amazing. One. Okay, and we are back with my headset plugged in. I won't try using it wireless again. It keeps cutting out. I'm very sorry about the change in audio, but I will make sure to continue to be using it this way from now on. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. We'll be sticking to this from now on. I'm just, I was just trying to experiment, see if it had better audio quality, but we will just stick with it this way. So, credit rating has upgraded. Good. Polls, 43%, but it is rising. It is rising. Uh, the election is in how many turns? One turn. So next turn, I think, or the turn after next. Um, let's see. Let's see. Comp no. 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 Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Might just be worth... Trying to make me look like a strong leader. Make me look compassionate. No, we can't do that. But we do look like a strong leader and we do look trustworthy. Good. Come on. What? It just crashed. Are you kidding me? Like, seriously? And here we are, back in the election. Uh, cut, it, it crashed, which is absolutely brilliant, so sorry about that. Let's see the count. Wow. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? So, not many people actually voted. Um, at all, really. Uh... We got 21% of the vote, you got 10, and 69% of the population didn't vote at all, which was something else. Uh, changes, health has increased by 65%. Uh, crime is down by 60. Healthcare demand is down by 60. Lifespan is up by 41. Uh, immigration is down by 40. Plant-based diets are up. Uh, voter analysis, I don't really use this. But yeah, we are now in our new term and I will because of all the audio changes and all that I will be playing until halfway through this term as well and I will just just to make up for it because I am very sorry about that um, singles cu are currently having a hard time adopting a child in our country past uh, no it doesn't need it and I didn't realize that I thought it would be a religious versus non-religious issue but it appears not so for this term we are going to try and lower religious membership as much as possible one of the easier ways to do that is to do this is do a religious do a secular sort of approach to education in the schools which allow me to um, which allow me to up liberality up liberals though that is the problem that is the problem I should have banned it. Misclick. That is the problem though, isn't it? Because if I have them, I'll have more liberals. And I really don't want more liberals. I don't want to have to deal with any more liberals than I already am, to be honest. Where is it? Here. Liberalism up by three. Okay, I think it's worth it to take them down by 15 to up the liberals by three. Because I can do other things to lower liberal membership. Um, like, well, CCTV camera's already doing it. Membership. Uh, press freedom. We can start lowering that. I think that will be crucial if we're gonna um. If we're gonna do well here, how many do we need? Thirty nineteen. Okay. How many do we get a turn? All right, we can get up to thirty four, which is perfect. Where we have a surplus. Poverty is at zero. Crime is at zero. 
58% of the vote in an election. This is all going well for us. Come on, keep lowering. And now we just need 19 more. Blasphemy, ban the site. Uh, the site is highly offensive and take down in views of our ethnic. Yes, I think so. I mean, religious and liberals, they're both going to be gone anyway, so I don't think it really matters. Um, so yeah, let's take a step back and think. Okay, so we're going down to here. Now just one more turn. Alright, safeguard oil supplies. Representatives from oil companies based in our country have requested that the government deploy troops overseas at our oil refineries in the Middle East to protect them from attack by terrorists. Government involved are happy for our troops to be stationed on their soil for this purpose. Send the troops. This is why we have a military. We should not be afraid to use it. Foreign terrorists need to understand that we are not prepared to take that we are prepared to take determined action to safeguard our oil supplies. This is not a foreign invasion, merely the provision of extra security for the vital parts of our industry that will happen to, that happen to be overseas. If we do not deploy troops, the oil supply will suffer. Do not deploy troops. It doesn't matter what our motivation is. The symbolism of our troops landing in foreign soil, heavily armed and prepared to use deadly force, is going to cause a major backlash in some countries, and it will likely lead to both problems with international relations and possibly increased terrorism. Our troops are not the security wing for the oil companies, this is no job for them. So I think this is a patriot versus liberal issue, so I'm going to go for send the troops. Ethnic minorities hate it, foreign relations go down, and liberals hate it. Okay. Um, okie doke. So, press freedom. To there. And then suddenly, everyone's going to be very, very happy. Which I cannot wait for. Ethnic plot is still a thing. Ethnic minorities, what's your... The membership has been going down constantly, which is really, really good for me. Uh, let's have a look at some security measures that we can get. Um, police drones, for example. Uh, let's take a look at our Intel screen. Is there anything else we can afford? Not right now. Press freedom. Okay. Okay. Let's hope we don't die. Surgical strikes. Terrorists in the Middle East have started to attack vital pipelines owned by our companies, which are which indirectly provide us with fuel. In order to protect our oil supply, the army would like to start surgical strikes on carefully selected targets. All of them. Terrorism is a real threat and rising oil prices limit growth. We have the means to disrupt terrorist organizations without risking the lives of our soldiers. We have to strike now and prevent those terrorists from getting the upper hand. Do not engage. The troubles in the area have economical and social reasons. The troubles in that area have economical and social reasons that cannot be solved by bombing terrorist leaders. The ground war sub and subsequent rebuilding are far more costly, but far more effective way to solve the problems in this region. It's gonna happen because I'd rather the patriots on the side than the liberals. Because I I can live with the lib patriots around, but I can't live with liberals around. I'm afraid, because they are the bane of my existence. Right, it's judicial independence at none. Um, we need to up the term limit. Completely forgot about that. So let's save our points, and this turn we will up, oh, not this turn, next turn, we will up the term limit so that we can stay in power, obviously. A secret service contractor has leaked several documents that shed light on a dark side of the war in terror. Should we prosecute her and do everything we can to bring her to justice, or should we reform the secret service to stop making use of the malpractices she accuses of? All? So prosecute would be a patriot, reform would be liberal. Yeah. All right, let's go another turn so that we can get our uh, executive term limit up. I know we're just focusing on these things right now, but I need another term if I'm gonna stay in office, obviously. And uh, then we can look at our surplus and start spending, I guess. 
start spending indeed all right conservatives are you, is your membership going up not quite because racial tension is low so conservatives are going down okie dokes that's not the best in the world but we are halfway through this term so i am going to call it there it's been kind of quick because we're trying to focus on getting um press freedom to be low it's just sort of taking loads of turns to do that but it's worth it because then everyone's going to be happy because of that fact um but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this is my commie usa one later we have our surplus so we will be spending it into state healthcare and seeing if we can raise it a little bit um obviously i want everything to be at max but that will involve having taxes quite high but we'll see when we get there so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe uh leave any videos you'd like me to do in the comments um i've had suggestions for Heart, hearts of iron videos if you'd be interested in that i'm not sure please let me know um any other games you want me to play again just put them in the comments and i will do my best to play them thank you guys so much for watching take care and goodbye